C I E T N C E R T presents audio book of mathematics for class six. Chapter one, part three, page fifteen. We have done a lot of problems that have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We will try solving some more here. Before starting. Look at these examples and follow the methods used. Example one: Population of Sundar Nagar was two lakh thirty-five thousand four hundred seventy-one in the year nineteen ninety-one. In the year two thousand one, it was found to be increased by seventy-two thousand nine hundred fifty-eight. What was the population of the city in two thousand one? Solution. Population of the city in two thousand one is equal to population of the city in nineteen ninety one plus increase in population, which is equal to two lakh thirty five thousand four hundred seventy one plus seventy two thousand nine hundred fifty eight. Now, two three five four seven one plus seven two nine five eight is equal to. Three zero eight four two nine. Salma added them by writing two three five four seven one as two lakh plus thirty five thousand plus four hundred seventy one, and seven two nine five eight as seventy two thousand plus nine hundred fifty eight. She got the addition as two lakh. Plus one lakh seven thousand plus one thousand four hundred twenty nine, which is equal to three zero eight four two nine. Mary added it as two lakh plus thirty five thousand plus four hundred plus seventy one plus seventy two thousand plus nine hundred plus fifty eight, which is equal to. Three zero eight four two nine. Answer: Population of the city in two thousand one was three lakh eight thousand four hundred twenty nine. All three methods are correct. Example two: In one state, the number of bicycles sold in the year two thousand two two thousand three was seven lakh forty three thousand. In the year two thousand three two thousand four, the number of bicycles sold was eight lakh one hundred. In which year were more bicycles sold, and how many more? Solution: Clearly, eight lakh one hundred is more than seven lakh forty three thousand. So, in that state, more bicycles were sold in the year. Two thousand three, two thousand four. Then in two thousand two, two thousand three. Now, eight zero zero one zero zero minus seven four three zero 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 is equal to zero five seven one zero zero. Check the answer by adding seven four three zero 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 and five seven one zero zero. Which comes out to be eight zero zero one zero zero. So the answer is right. Can you think of alternative ways of solving this problem? Answer: Fifty seven thousand one hundred more bicycles were sold in the year two thousand three two thousand four. Example three: The town newspaper is published every day. One copy has twelve pages. Every day, eleven thousand nine hundred eighty copies are printed. How many total pages are printed every day? Page sixteen. Solution: Each copy has twelve pages. Hence, eleven thousand nine hundred eighty copies will have twelve multiplied by. Eleven thousand nine hundred eighty pages. What would this number be? More than one lakh or lesser? 
Try to estimate. Now, 11980 multiplied by 12 is equal to 23960 plus 119800 comes out to be 143760. Answer. Every day, 1,43,760 pages are printed. Example 4. The number of sheets of paper available for making notebooks is 75,000. Each sheet makes 8 pages of a notebook. Each notebook contains 200 pages. How many notebooks can be made from the paper available? Solution. Each sheet makes 8 pages. Hence, 75,000 sheets make 8 multiplied by 75,000 pages. Now, 75,000 multiplied by 8 is equal to 6,000,000. Thus, 6 lakh pages are available for making notebooks. Now, 200 pages make one notebook. Hence, 6 lakh pages make 6 lakh divided by 200 notebooks. Now, 6,000,000 divided by 200 comes out to be 3,000,000. The answer is 3,000 notebooks. Exercise 1.2 1. A book exhibition was held for four days in a school. The number of tickets sold at the counter on the first, second, third and final day was, respectively, 1,094, 1,812, 2,050 and 2,751. Find the total number of tickets sold on all the four days. 2. Shaker is a famous cricket player. He has so far scored 6,980 runs in test matches. He wishes to complete 10,000 runs. How many more runs does he need? 3. In an election, the successful candidate registered 5,77,500 votes and his nearest rival secured 3,48,700 votes. By what margin did the successful candidate win the election? 4. Kirti Bookstore sold books worth Rs. 2,85,891 in the first week of June and books worth rupees 4,768,000 in the second week of the month. How much was the sale for the two weeks together? Page 17 In which week was the sale greater and by how much? 5. Find the difference between the greatest and the least five-digit number that can be written using the digits 6, 2, 7, 4, 3, each only once. 6. A machine, on an average, manufactures 2,825 screws a day. How many screws did it produce in the month of January 2006? 7. A merchant had 78,592 rupees with her. She placed an order for purchasing 40 radio sets at 1200 rupees each. How much money will remain with her after the purchase? 8. A student multiplied 7236 by 65 instead of multiplying by 56. By how much was his answer greater than the correct answer? Hint. Do you need to do both the multiplications? 9. To stitch a shirt, 2 meters 15 centimeters cloth is needed. Out of 40 meters cloth, how many shirts can be stitched 
and how much cloth will remain. Hint, convert data in centimeters. 10. Medicine is packed in boxes, each weighing 4 kilograms, 500 grams. How many such boxes can be loaded in a van which cannot carry beyond 800 kilograms? 11. The distance between the school and a student's house is 1 kilometer, 875 meters. Every day, she walks both ways. Find the total distance covered by her in six days. 12. A vessel has 4 liters and 500 milliliters of curd. In how many glasses, each of 25 milliliters capacity, can it be filled? 1.3.1 Estimation News 1. India drew with Pakistan in a hockey match watched by approximately 51,000 spectators in the stadium and 40 million television viewers worldwide. 2. Approximately 2,000 people were killed and more than 50,000 injured in a cyclonic storm in coastal areas of India and Bangladesh. 3. Over 13 million passengers are carried over 63,000 km route of railway track every day. Can we say that there were exactly as many people as the numbers quoted in these news items? For example, in 1, were there exactly 51,000 spectators in the stadium? Or did exactly 40 million viewers watched the match on television? Obviously not. The word approximately itself shows that the number of people were near about these numbers. Clearly, 51,000 could be 50,800 or 51,300, but not 70,000. Similarly, 40 million implies much more than 39 million, but quite less than 41 million, but certainly not 50 million. Page 18. The quantities given in the examples above are not exact counts, but are estimates to give an idea of the quantity. Discuss what each of these can suggest. Where do we approximate? Imagine a big celebration at your home. The first thing you do is to find out roughly how many guests may visit you. Can you get an idea of the exact number of visitors? It is practically impossible. The finance minister of the country presents a budget annually. The minister provides for a certain amount under the head education. Can the amount be absolutely accurate? It can only be a reasonably good estimate of the expenditure the country needs for education during the year. Think about the situations where we need to have the exact numbers and compare them with situations where you can do with only an approximately estimated number. Give three examples of each of such situations. 1.3.2 Estimating to the nearest tens by rounding off. Observe this. We have a row with many boxes, each with a three-digit number. The numbers start from 259 and go all the way to 271. We have some colored flags on some of the numbers. A. Find which flags are closer to 260. B. Find the flags which are closer to 270. Locate the numbers 10, 17 and 20 on your ruler. Is 17 nearer to 10 or 20?
the gap between 17 and 20 is smaller when compared to the gap between 17 and 10. Below this we have the picture of a ruler with divisions from 1 to 30 showing the centimeters of the ruler. The number 17 has a flag on it in the picture. Also, the numbers 10 and 20 have been highlighted. So, we round off 17 as 20, correct to the nearest tens. Now, consider 12, which also lies between 10 and 20. However, 12 is closer to 10 than to 20. So, we round off 12 to 10, correct to the nearest tens. How would you round off 76 to the nearest tens? Is it not 80? We see that the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 are nearer to 0 than to 10. So we round off 1, 2, 3 and 4 as 0. Number 6, 7, 8, 9 are nearer to 10. So we round them off as 10. Number 5 is equidistant from both 0 and 10. It is a common practice to round it off as 10. Page 19. Try these. Round these numbers to the nearest 10s. 28, 32, 52, 41, 39, 48, 64, 59, 99, 215, 1453, 2936, 1 1.3.3 Estimating to the nearest hundreds by rounding off. Is 410 nearer to 400 or to 500? 410 is closer to 400. So it is rounded off to 400. Correct to the nearest 100. 889 lies between 800 and 900. It is nearer to 900. So it is rounded off as 900. Correct to nearest 100. Numbers 1 to 49 are closer to 0 than to 100 and so are rounded off to 0. Numbers 51 to 99 are closer to 100 than to 0 and so are rounded off to 100. Number 50 is equidistant from 0 and 100 both. It is a common practice to round it off as 100. Check if the following rounding off is correct or not. 841 as 800. 9537 as 9500. 49730 as 49700. 2546 as 2500. 286 as 200. 5750 as 5800, 168 as 200, 149 as 100, 9870 as 9800. Correct those which are wrong. 1.3.4 Estimating to the nearest thousands by rounding off. We know that numbers 1 to 499 are nearer to 0 than to 1000. So these numbers are rounded off as 0. The numbers 501 to 999 are nearer to 1000 than 0. So they are rounded off as 1000. Number 500 is also rounded off as 1000. Check if the following rounding off is correct or not. 2,573 as 3,000, 53,552 as 53,000, 6,404 as 6,000, 65,437 as 65,000, 7,805 as 7,000, 
3,499 as 4,000. Correct those which are wrong. Page 20. Try these. Round off the given numbers to the nearest tens, hundreds and thousands. We have three columns. Column 1 heading is given number. Column 2 heading is approximate to nearest. Column 3 heading is rounded form. Given number 75847. Approximate to nearest tens. Rounded form dash. Given number 75847. Approximate to nearest hundreds. Rounded form dash. Given number 75847. Approximate to nearest thousands. Rounded form dash. Given number 75847. Approximate to nearest ten thousands. Rounded form dash. Write all the four answers in the blank spaces provided. 1.3.5 Estimating outcomes of number situations How do we add numbers? We add numbers by following the algorithm, that is, the given method, systematically. We write the numbers taking care that the digits in the same place that is, ones, tens, hundreds, etc., are in the same column. For example, 3946 plus 6579 plus 2050 is written as We have the numbers written in a tabular form with the headings of the columns as thousands, hundreds, tens, and zeros. The numbers are added in their particular places. 3946 plus 6579 plus 2050. The answer is dash. We add the column of ones and if necessary, carry forward the appropriate number to the tens place, as would be in this case. We then add the tens column and this goes on. Complete the rest of the sum yourself. This procedure takes time. There are many situations where we need to find answers more quickly. For example, when you go to a fair or the market, you find a variety of attractive things which you want to buy. You need to quickly decide what you can buy. So you need to estimate the amount you need. It is the sum of the prices of things you want to buy. A trader is to receive money from two sources. The money he is to receive is 13,569 rupees from one source and 26,785 rupees from another. He has to pay 37,000 rupees to someone else by the evening. He rounds off the numbers to their nearest thousands and quickly works out the rough answer. He is happy that he has enough money. Do you think he would have enough money? Can you tell without doing the exact addition or subtraction? Sheila and Mohan have to plan their monthly expenditure. They know their monthly expenses on transport, on school requirements, on groceries, on milk and on clothes and also on other regular expenses. Page 21 This month they have to go for visiting and buying gifts. They estimate the amount they would spend on all this and then add to see if what they have would be enough. Would they round off to thousands as the trader did? Think and discuss five more situations where we have to estimate sums or remainders. Did we use rounding off to the same place in all these? There are no rigid rules when you want to estimate the outcomes of numbers. The procedure depends on the degree of accuracy required and how quickly the estimate is needed. The most important thing is how sensible the guest answer would be.
1.3.6 to estimate sum or difference. As we have seen above, we can round off a number to any place. The trader rounded off the amounts to the nearest thousands and was satisfied that he had enough. So when you estimate any sum or difference, you should have an idea of why you need to round off and therefore the place to which you would round off. Look at the following examples. Example 5. Estimate 5290 plus 17986. Solution. You find 17,986 greater than 5,290. Round off to thousands. 17,986 rounds off to 18,000. 5,290 rounds off to 5,000. Estimated sum is equal to 23,000. Does the method work? You may attempt to find the actual answer and verify if the estimate is reasonable. Example 6. Estimate 5,673 minus 436. Solution. To begin with, we round off to thousands. Why? 5,673 rounds off to 6,000. 436 rounds off to 0. So, estimated difference is equal to 6,000. This is not a reasonable estimate. Why is this not reasonable? To get a closer estimate, let us try rounding each number to hundreds. 5,673 rounds off to 5,700. Minus 436 rounds off to minus 400. Estimated difference is equal to 5300. This is a better and more meaningful estimate. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production. Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C.I.E.T. N.C.E.R.T. New Delhi, India